Kahoot is a great way to test someone to play with your friends. Basically, it's pretty easy to create. But how can we do this if we are new to the program? Welcome. In this video, I will show you step by step how to create your first Kahoot ever. So let's jump straight into it and let's create new Kahoot. To do this, all we need is just to open our browser. I'm using Google Chrome. Basically, it doesn't matter. And then just in a search bar, input something like this Kahoot and then just click on enter. After that, make sure that you'll open kahoot.com, not .it, because the other websites can, could like ju just follow to the game, not to creating page. So just click on kahoot.com and open this page. After that, we need to create our account. It's pretty simple. Just click on sign up in the right top corner, right up here. And after that, we need to choose uh, the account type, teacher, student, personal or professional. Basically, it doesn't matter. We can use any type because the features are the same. So I will just click like a teacher. So if you're a teacher, you can choose this one like uh, high education. And then we can uh, continue with email or just continue with Google, Microsoft, Apple or Clever. Uh, I will continue with Google to make the process easier. So I will choose like only one right up here. And then as you can see, basically everything is ready. Now we are on this page with like uh, paid plans. Don't be scared. Everything is free. If we'll scroll down for a little right up here, we can see the basic plan. We are able to create Kahoot with quiz questions, host and play Kahoot, assign students packet Kahoot, up to 40 players per game. So just click on continue for free to make our Kahoot like uh, for free without any payments. So now we are on the page which is like uh, start page here. So don't go anywhere. We can create Kahoot right up now. So just click on create in the right top corner right up here. Now we can choose create a Kahoot right up here. So there are a lot of different templates. If we're there like with a star, it means that you need to pay to use them. But you have also we have also some free templates. So you can just use some of them. I'll just click on create new Kahoot to show process from the zero. So this is like our start page here. We can add some questions, add slides, add the Kahoot title. So let's click here and add some like something like, I don't know, test. Basically, it doesn't matter. Add the description, add some other settings and like visibility, private or public, choose the language and cover image. So I will like, uh, choose it light up here add image for example and let it be like like this this one looks good so then just click on done uh, after that we can also uh, choose the question type here to change this question like quiz or true or false basically we have only two options because other ones are like for paid plans so let it be like quiz uh, time limit here points and answer option so we can change the timer limit here uh, points and like single. So we can just click on uh, duplicate and create the another one. So if you want to create a simple question here, so we can write, uh, add something like this, like what's the name of the program um, to like add the description, we can, add, we can add some pictures. As you can see, we can add like one free image from here, but we can also upload images from our computer. So I will just uh, like use this one. So after that, we can add some uh, options to, for the answer. So like, let it be like Kahoot, uh, Kahoot, um, one, two, three, and uh, I don't know, basically, yeah. Uh, so all we need now is just to click on uh, the right option here. And as you can see, like this um, question was successfully added. After that, I'd like to add some more question. For example, let it be like true or false, like is four plus five plus five equals nine. True or false, let it be like true. So we can also add some pictures. Let's try to add something from here, for example. I don't know, um, let it be like maybe like this. Uh, so after that, we can add some more questions like quiz or do some other stuff. If you want to delete it, you can just click on delete and then just delete once more or duplicate. So we can also add some slides. As you can see, only classic slide is available for us. So we can just click, we can add some title, we can add some text, we can add some 
uh, images from here. So let it be like also this one. Uh, of course, Kahoot. Yeah, and then just easy. So if your uh, Kahoot was successfully created, now we can just save it. So like uh, play the game. So just click on save here. And, and now uh, we can some back to edit or click on done. So now we can just click on edit right up here. And as you can see, now we have this test right up here. We have like three questions here. The time it was uploaded, zero plays, zero plays. By the way, I created one more Kahoot a little bit earlier. So uh, to start our Kahoot, all we need is just to click on start right up here. And now it will be like loaded for a little. And uh, all we need now is just to choose the mode we want to create game with classic mode, team mode, uh, and this one, I would like to use like classic mode right up here. So now it will take a little time. As you can see to join this game, we need to use like uh, kuhu.it. So uh, let's close the audio. And or we can use just the Kahoot app. Here we can see the game pin. So we can just click on it, copy and send it to other students, to our friends, or just send them this QR code to like start the game. Here we can see the number of players. And as you can see the, the progress, the status of the game is like waiting for play players. After all, uh, we can just uh, lock this game and then just click on start to play the game. So uh, I think guys, this is the easiest way to create your own Kahoot. I hope this video was useful for you. If it is, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and watch my other tutorials. I wish you a very, very good day. I love you and goodbye guys. In conclusion, I'd like to add that this program is pretty, pretty good. And if you want to support the team who create this, you can just buy the paid plan. So you can just click on upgrade right up here. And from this page, you can just choose the necessary plan you want to use like four euro, eight or 10. Basically, this is the like best value. So you can save up to 23%. The most popular is this one, you can see the options. But uh, as you already saw, there are a lot of options which are not available for like a free plan. So if you would like to use it in the future for your team, for your uh, class uh, mates, for your like students, I suggest you to buy the paid plan and then just use it like for uh, for your for a very, very good result. So as you can see, this is really, really powerful. There are a lot of also of different options I didn't uh, show in this video, but um, the main features were showed. So I hope it was useful for you. And yeah, that's all. Peace.